Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Ben Holiday's Soft Red Wheat Bottle and Bond 100 Proof Missouri Whiskey. Is it any good? Is it as good as the Bottle and Bond original that I reviewed? Is it worth the money? Stay tuned and find out. Welcome back to the channel. Today, like I said, we're talking about Ben Holiday's Soft Red Wheat Missouri Straight Bourbon Whiskey, six years old, bottle and bond, 100 proof. I got this from, if I remember correctly, Shared Pour. And it was, if I remember correctly, 60 or $65. I was a little skeptical and I said, well, you know, you can buy the bottle and bond here, the regular bottle and bond, but you can't find the red, soft red wheat. I said, you know, I'm going to pull the trigger. I've been wanting this bottle for ever since the Ben Holiday came out and there's a lot of reviews on it. I really wanted it. I thought it was, it sounded delicious. Me personally, I like weeded bourbons and whiskeys. So why not? I'm going to pull the trigger. This was uh, distilled in spring of 2017, bottled in August of 2023, 100% on floor number four. And we know that it is aged six years and new chart oak barrels, 100 proof, bottled in bond. Uh, the mash bill is 73% corn, 15% wheat, and 12% malted barley. So we got a little bit into the history, got a little bit in the bottle. Like I always say, what is the juice like inside? Let's get into that first nose. Oh, also, I hope everybody's holiday season getting into it is getting a little good, getting a little festive around here in Michigan. We're at 50 degrees and raining for the last six days. Just throwing it out there. Let's get another first nose. Oh, I like that. It's get a, it's a bright nose. It's like a bright fruit. Not like a well, almost like it reminds me of a Fuji apple. That bright, crisp nose and note. I like you get a little bit of charred oak, a little bit of vanilla, almost like a sweetness. Yeah, right there on the back end, a little bit of baking spice and cherry. Actually, it's, it smells. It smells great. I had a little bit out of it. I've had this for about a week now. It's been sitting out about 20 minutes. I just, I like the smell. It just smells crisp. Almost like a crisp fall morning. This would have been honestly great in the beginning of the fall. Let's say late September, early October. That when it just, you know, the weather's going from 70 degrees down to about 50, 55. And at that, when you walk out out of your house in the morning, it's that crisp note. That's what that reminds me of. Got it on the nose. Let's get another taste. Oh, it's syrupy, sweet caramel, candied oranges. It almost reminds me of the oranges that you get when you go to the store. They have the sugar on it. Basically, it's pure uh, high fructose corn syrup and sugar and everything that's not good for you. But it tastes so good, you just want to eat a couple of them. That's what that reminds me of. The finish is there. The Kentucky hug, it hits here, just gently disappears. It's just wispy. But that finish... You get a little uh, baking spice, a little bit of graham note, like a graham cracker on the mid palate back, but it, it is lingering, which is what I like. It's that, it's that deep, weedy, honey, toffee, cocoa note. That is really good. I'm really glad I got this. Got it past, past the shoulder, but it, it just, it, it has such a continuing, even like I said, the finish is still going, and that's what I like. I don't like when it just hits and is gone, or it coasts and it just disappears, turns flat. This, it, it kind of warms right back in here. It's like Matt Porter likes to say on ADHD whiskey, the throaticals. It's really nice. It's really nice. Let's get in for a second taste. Yeah, it's syrupy cherry, like a dark Bing cherry, not like a maraschino cherry. Like a dark Bing cherry. It's really, honestly, that's really nice. It just coats and keeps going back. If you can find this in your area, again, for me in a hunt here, I can get the regular bottled and bond, but finding the soft red wheat was a challenge. And when they presented it, seal box, or was it seal box? No, shared pour, excuse me. I was like, yeah, I got to pull the trigger. I have to, because it's if I'm hoping it's as good as it was projected to be. And honestly, it is. It's very good. So if you can find this bottle out there, or if you can even get a two-ounce pour at a liquor barn or a bar where you're at, 
go for it. You're not going to be disappointed. I'm your host, Brian. This is the Average Whiskey Drinker channel. And like I say, find the bottle, open the bottle, enjoy that bottle, because good whiskeys are always meant to be shared. Like, comment below. Have you had this one or the bottle and bottom? What did you prefer? Thank you. Subscribe and share. And I will talk with you all soon. Cheers.